Hi, I'm Daily Life. Welcome to another another video. Um, if you like what I do, please like, share, and subscribe. Um, leave any constructive comments in the comments bar. Ring that bell because that's what they say, isn't it? Um, if your comments aren't constructive, then fuck yourself. Um, or if it's just my brother teasing me, because that's what he does, then you you get what's coming to you. Um, this this episode is I'm going to talk about lots of things, not necessarily any one particular thing. Um, a couple of days ago, I I had a back spasm in the um in the supermarket and through no through nothing sort of oh I wasn't lifting I wasn't shelf stacking or anything crazy like that um I just twisted the wrong way and when things like that happen to me or anybody there's the, the primary reaction it's probably not called the primary reaction it's that's how i how i see it and then the, the secondary secondary reaction the primary reaction is the the one there and then and it's fueled by anger or pain or probably a little bit of fear if I'm honest and then the secondary reaction is the reaction to the event when you've calmed down and you you've got your head on properly and you've taken like this amount of pills and so yeah that's an interesting thing that I haven't I've had it before, but I haven't had it for a while. Um, the reason I had a back spasm, I have um, degenerative discs L4, L5 and S1. And my discs are bulging also, so that's fun. And when they press on my nerves in my back, it really does want to make you cry. And so that, that's what happened. But the army um, taught us to use any pain that we receive, you to use it and to turn it into anger. And so you can fight through and get on with the, your whatever you're supposed to be achieving. I left the army in... 2007 so it's a long time to be thinking that way and it's a long time for every time you have a bit of pain to go to that place so that's something that I'm going to that's something I'm going to go and work on in the new year I'm not going to say it's a new year's resolutions because I don't believe in new year's new year's resolutions other than not dying of COVID. Um, see, I've mentioned it already. It's only four minutes in. Um, looking back, my secondary opinion, thoughts, whatever it, whatever that word I used was, um, I have... What's that there? Big Kit Kat. Um, yeah, kick out. <laughs> um, I have let my core stability slide. I have become not any more lazy than I am because I'm not, I don't consider myself lazy. I'm on, I have let my fitness slide my legs they're looking great not a problem there but 
it's the main bit that is the problem. I don't when I when I get up in the morning I don't suck my tummy in, which that that's one of the actions where you, you switch on your core. And by me being lazy, not sort of holding my gut in as soon as I get up and then parading around with my gut in, or when I walk to and fro the high street and along the seafront, I don't engage my core. And these things all add up to your core getting weak. And for me, my self-image, for want of a better word, makes me think that I'm I put on a bit of weight. Whether I have put on a bit of weight or not, but it, me not sucking in my tummy doesn't help. I know I'm a I'm a sturdy fella, but sucking in your core or sucking in your tummy that also that helps you upstairs to make you think that you're not eating all the cakes, which we do eat a fair selection of cakes currently um so yeah that was an interesting time i i didn't particularly want to but i used a lot of ibuprofen to well it's an anti-inflammatory so to make it less painful Hot water bottles are my favourite thing at the moment, so that got that got abused. Um, I'm a lot better now. There's a Pokemon Day or a Pokemon Week tomorrow, so I'm going to go and have a good long, a good long walk. I was going to make a reference to like pooing in the street like dogs do, but it's too late in the day for that. Um, so yeah. What else am I going to talk about? My mead. I've made some mead. Um, this is going to be for the end of the year. When I was in France, um, Richard and Nick were very into their brewing. And that got me thinking. I do like a bit of science. So yeah, I bought some honey. And yeah, it's in the, it's in the cupboard chattering away to itself um this is a first run so the second run providing it doesn't blind me i will do more sort of scientific work with it as opposed to do, i just wanted to see if it works i just wanted to get the basis the basis going so i know what i'm doing and then i can put in all the little tweaks um so that comes out well the day before New Year's Eve is when I'm going to get it out of the cupboard, stir it. I might put a bit in a bottle for my brother who lives in the town. And the rest, me and my dad will hopefully drink all of it. Um, yeah, I've... I don't do New Year's resolutions because one, I never keep them and two, if I say, oh yeah, it's not a resolution, it's something else, I generally don't keep them either. If I want to do something, I'll do it. I don't need it to be at the end of the year to do this thing. Saying that, I will make a concerted effort to improve my core stability in the new year. I haven't said resolutions because that's got too much of, too much, I don't know, connotations and whatnot. And I don't think I want to, I'm not going to do something every day to keep my core going, but it's going to be at the front of my mind. It's going to be switch it on. Walk around with your bum clenched and really sort of focus on it. My diet's not going to improve. I'm not going to start doing anything 
that I don't do already, but I'm just going to really sort of make an effort. Um, so yeah, core stability, mead, Pokemon. The uh, it's December second tomorrow, so the the shops will open for however long they're going to open for before we're put in our boxes again. So I'm going to have a wander around, see see what's going on, see if I can see anybody I know. I mean, a bit people I know, but who I don't like. So I'm going to probably avoid those. Pokemon Day, Pokemon Week tomorrow is all the new region stuff. So uh, there's a blue Pokemon called uh, Froakie, which eventually turns into Greninja, which is my favourite Pokemon. So I've got, that's my mission for the week, to try and get as many Froakies as I can. And um, TV is shit at the moment. Um, BBC is all just repeats or fucking children in need specials or whatever it is so I, I've i said to myself before I, I like a, t a cartoon an anime sorry um, called uh, Attack on Titan it's about these teenagers that wear jetpacks and they go around fighting giants like killed all their mums and dads brilliant fun season 4 apparently according to my sources, is coming out very soon. And I'm halfway through season one. So I've downloaded an app called Crunchyroll, which is an anime streaming service, and they do a free trial. So I'm going to use that and get Bosch out as much of Attack on Titan as I can. There is a, there's a film, a real live feature film, but it, apparently it's shit. So I'm not going to watch that. In all of this COVID nonsense, I've been playing a cowboy game called Red Dead Online. Right? The single player, nobody plays a single player because nobody does. It's all about the multiplayer or the deathmatch or the war zone or the battle royale mode. But this cowboy game doesn't necessarily have all of those recognisable terms. And what's keeping me going, amongst other things, in this uncertainty, or time of uncertainty, is the collection and study of legendary animals, which makes it sound a lot more amazing than it actually is. Um, so we get, you can go around the game, it's like a free roam, you can do what you like, and you, you'll see like a little squirrel and a fucking boar, or a bison, or a lion or a uh, cougar mountain lion puma and you can either kill it and sell it to the the fat man gus i think he's called or you can sedate it take a sample and then give it to harriet who's this scruffy looking woman in a tent who's really into really into animals and while you're doing that there is chances of seeing legendary animals. These happen few and far between, unless you get a mission from Harriet. And because I'm a nerd, geek, I love all this shit, I've got a map. Ma the game comes with a map. And... Ooh, that's better. The game comes with a map. And... Um, you can mark off what I've marked off where I found the legendary animals and I don't know why but I think because I was too excited there's an inconsistency between the amount of creatures that the game says you can find and the amount of creatures I've marked their positions on the map it's not a huge problem I'll show the map I don't know if I'll show it. Oh. Yeah, and there's some on the back. And oh Christ. And that has 
I've only got 19 animals left to go. So I'm pretty proud of myself. And that, amongst other things, has been keeping me going during this uncertainty. Rockstar Gaming, who make Red Dead and GTA, they have stumbled onto the fact or just actioned it because of money. They've separated the game. So you can have a boring as fuck uh, story campaign bit that nobody plays, or you can have the important bit, the online, separately. So I'm currently downloading uh, the... I've uninstalled the original, the the data that I had. I had it on disk, but I'm installing onto my PlayStation the Red Dead, the online part. So it doesn't, I don't have to have my, my disk drive going in the PlayStation. It will run a bit cooler, hopefully, because I'm, I'm having doubts about this PlayStation at the moment. And yeah, so that's exciting. Um, yeah, Dune, Dune, my, one of my films I wanted to watch, I do something for my, not I do something for my birthday, I've got a, a thing where I have whoever's in town, Jack, my dad, Barney, whoever, it's a, um, a tradition, I would have chicken nuggets on my birthday. Obviously, when I dated a vegan woman, it, it wouldn't be chicken. There'd be oak or something. Every, every other, Barney, Jack, Dad, myself, we'd have actual nuggets from McDonald's, but I can't really guarantee they're chicken either from McDonald's. So, on my birthday, I'm going to have some nuggets. Dune, the, the new book film thing was supposed to come out around my birthday but because of all this covid stuff it's not happening now so that's a bit of a disappointment but i'll see it when it does come out hopefully saying that 19 uh wonder woman 1984 is getting put on streaming on uh hbo max so I don't know how much the profits for that is going to go. Um, but yeah, I think that's about it. Nothing really too... Nothing new, nothing exciting. The um, There was a little change. I forgot to mention it in the mead section. Originally... The completed solution was in the oh in the darkened room that I inhabit. Currently, it's not really dark. Uh, in the corner, uh, my room is a uh, uh, twenty-two degrees Celsius, and it occurred to me at that time that. There wasn't a lot of off-gassing going on, like an exhaust, if you will. The, the glove, the rubber glove that I pierce and sellotape round the top of the neck, because I'm a hillbilly. It wasn't, not inflating, but it didn't have any gas in it. So I put it into our airing cupboard, which is a, uh, a 28 degrees, and the glove is... It's it's good. It's working now. It's working how I imagined it. Whether that makes the the mead stronger or whether the taste of honey goes away because you've inherently uh, accelerated the process by heating it up. Whether there's more alcohol content. All of these things will be noted, taken into consideration when I do my next, um, my next 
bit go on the need. Um, there's certain elements that I want to sort of keep like a control. I want to, I'm thinking about using the same honey as I did the first time, the, the same water, the same bottle. So the bottle, the five litre gallon jug thing with a handle came from uh, Tesco's. The honey came from Asda, it's just a generic thing. And it looked very sort of maple syrupy, very clear, very fast. I don't know how you measure viscosity, but I, I'll say it's fast. I'm tempted to try different honeys at some point, but I think I'll get this one underway. I saw a 20 quid honey the other day. That was wild. A little jar, like that, 20 quid. Um, Manuka, is that a thing? And I thought to myself, that would be so cool to make really expensive mead or just to fuck up some honey. I, I ain't got 20 quid to waste on a little jar of honey. Yeah, that's about it. Oh, uh, I, I'm going to get a new tattoo. I, I can see my tattoos. Um, I'm thinking, just recently I've been thinking about getting a another tattoo when COVID has done its business. I'm not going to get one now because nowhere is open. But once COVID is finished, I'll get a tattoo to show that I have lived through COVID. Obviously, it is dependent on me surviving COVID. So, yeah. I don't know what colour it will be. Probably disappointment. Brown. Brown is a very disappointing colour. I haven't got a brown one yet. Yeah, so a brown. But then when you see, will you see it when I get tan? Don't know. So yeah, a brown tattoo for COVID. But other than me just ranting on and mumbling to myself, if you like what I do, please like, share and subscribe, ring that bell, tell your friends, take your pants off, spin yourself around and face plant onto that subscribe key. That's just that's just funny to imagine people doing that. And I will see you all, speak to you all, talk to you another time. Bye bye.